Hello and welcome to another episode of Smoking Farnham's coming to you from Fresno, California, right here in our backyard. Been a hot day, so we had to wait till later in the evening to come on out here and uh, uh, record another uh, uh, fantastic cigar review. Um, gonna smoke it with my son, Tyler. You may know him from the previous two episodes. Got a special uh, episode. We got a couple of uh, I would say, or what I would call, Tyler, the uh, higher end of the standard production of Cuban cigars. So, uh, for you, is a uh, Vegas Robina Unicorn. That's a 52 uh, by 6.1 inch torpedo or pyramid or pyramides. And I will be having the classic... Monte Cristo number two. Uh, these are both from uh, 2019. A little young, but we're going to give them a shot here. They're nice and soft. Mine's packed out pretty good. How's pretty yours? Too. Yeah? Solid or got no, some give? Uh, pretty solid, actually. Mine's got like a, a spot right about here. I might, but but these, these open up pretty good, and I don't mind the snug draw. Uh, been uh, terribly hot here in uh, Central California. We're sitting at about 84 degrees right now. Yeah, and at it's, night. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's around uh, 10 p.m. But uh, you know, we've managed to smoke some really good cigars. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have a, a, a pool, so we're out in that pool nightly, uh, uh, puffing away. But I thought we would just do this comparison today um, on these two torpedoes and uh give you our our opinion now um we're gonna go ahead and uh cut these yes, there's sir. a cutter for you i'm gonna I, you know i'm just gonna try to cut it just with a slight a slight slash tyler let's see here yeah uh, that tends to work out all right mine has a nice sheen to it i mean it's it's looking really good i don't know if the camera could pick that up it's looking really good. Oh yeah. Let's do a little dry draw. See what see what we got here. Oh yeah, it's drawing good, Tyler. This one. Is. Mm. Look, grass, grassy, barnyardy. Touch a little salt, a little a little salt when I touch my tongue to the tobacco. Earthy, not a, no, not sweet though. No, I don't get sweetness. Maybe need to open that up a little bit more. A little more on the on the cut. I got a I got a pretty nice little cut there. Slashed it real good. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start lighting. Here's your, yes, sir. There's one for you. Now you, you may notice, uh, it's, I got my, my, my Cubs lighter here. Yeah, we're doing a cub style, of course. We're yeah, we're doing a cub style. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> you know, they tricked me that they were doing so well, but, uh, you know, all good things come to an end. I just hope we don't go into another hundred year drought. <laughs> a little bit of wind tonight. Yeah, that, a little bit, a little bit. Not too windy. So yeah, so a lot of the country experiences the heat, but in Fresno, we're kind of used to it, you know, 105 and above we've experienced it many times so um but when it gets into 110 114 it's you know it's like anything else man it's like everybody else it's 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 miserable mm. 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 well you really can't uh 
get a good representation of the cigar right off the light. So we're going to go ahead and, and get into this about a uh, couple inches and then uh, we'll come on back and, and give you our thoughts. All right, stick around. All right, so we're coming at you from about midway through the first third. I'm going to give you guys some tasting notes of what we're getting at least. It's got a little, a little wavy burn, but it's good construction. So right when I lit it, it had the uh, a lot of pepper and earth and spice. Still does. Actually, it hasn't tapered off at all. A lot of earth, a lot of pepper, a lot of spice, uh, a lot of twang. I like the, uh, I like, it's got just a slight little sting on the retro, but that's probably due to, you know, it's youth. Mm. I'm getting uh, mm. some leather, some hay, a little bit of twang as well, but mainly leather. It's just coming off real strong with the leather right from the, the get-go. Well, I do know that the the Robina, I believe, uh, what I write down there, it's been around since uh, 1845. And it is a one of the oldest um, uh, Marcas and Vitolas that the uh, Cubans make. This one's fairly young, though. It's, uh, I believe they introduced the number two in uh, 1935, but it's pretty much the the gold standard, I would say, of standard production cigars. Um, this one in the number four, um, it's about 52 ring gauge, uh, 6.1. Like I said, it's got a nice... This one's like a milk chocolate wrapper. Yours is like a... Shade darker. Yeah, yours is like Shade a dark chocolate. Maybe it got a little red to it, huh? I'm not sure if you could pick that up. We'll clip uh, in the pictures right yeah. there. Yeah. I've sure enjoyed the ones I've smoked. Uh, a lot of the number twos, though, you know, it's hard to get them. Uh, well, it's a that hard but you know with five plus years on it uh, without paying an arm and a leg but uh, the bird's starting to straighten out it's medium to full body I mean it's probably closer to full right it's well beyond medium right now but we're about to get into the uh, second third we'll get back with the uh, Too much longer yeah. with the update then um, oh wait what a before we go we're about um yeah how far are we into it how much time we're about 15 minutes in and i'm about two-thirds through the first third we'll be back almost done stick around and we're back just about a little touch into the second third here i'm um, kind of getting more woody notes like smoky wood and earth the leather notes kind of tapered off a bit I'm starting to work my tongue more into it that's what i'm picking up right now well like the first half or just recently right when i just the last few puffs before we came back the um the spice and the in the in the grassiness and the twang and the uh earth and minerals very bright just now it's kind of the earth is in the background it's starting to pick up a little leather no cocoa or anything like the tr tr traditional number two uh flavors but it, it's really um let's see here mm. yeah it's really good now it's starting to uh bring forth the uh, uh the leather I, I don't want to say cocoa maybe maybe a, a dark chocolate or a, you know the earth is still back there the finish is a little longer uh i'm drinking water so uh kind of rinsing my palate every every few puffs 
but uh, other than that, it's burning nice, slight, little wavy. Construction's good, smoke's real cool. First part of the ash fell off in one big chunk right into <laughs> my lap. Uh, and that's, you know, we're still holding on to the second part of the ash, but we're well into the uh, the second, third. Good. Yeah, we're about uh, 32, 33 minutes in right now. It's heating up very nicely. Starting to get a little warmer. Yeah, I, I just think that, I don't know, uh, I was just talking with Tyler that, you know, he mentioned, well, you know, Dad, that, you know, when they age a little bit more and, you know, those. But I don't know if the cigar is, you know, or this particular one, because I've had, um, I had a number two in um, in May. I was uh, in Palm Springs golfing, and uh, a colleague of mine gave me a number two out of his humidor there at the uh, country club, and it was spectacular. I mean, it really was. Uh, then uh, when I got home, I bought this box of 10 from 2019. I didn't really know the age of the one he handed me, but it was much darker than mine. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I, I hope that age is going to help. Um, but I just thought maybe because it's not balanced or, or you know, maybe I'm, I pulled a bad one. Um, but... I'm not disappointed because it's it started transition a little bit, right. but it's not like, wow, what a great <laughs> yeah. cigar, you know? Um, I'd love to, uh, you know, <clears throat> rate it like that, but right now it's getting better, right? Not that the earth and the spice isn't great, but you know, it's just so much of it no ammonia or tannic like you would from a really young cigar it's just this overwhelming uh earthy minerally uh flavor but uh we'll keep smoking on them yes sir <laughs> and uh come back when we hit the van all right 46 minutes in well into the uh final third had some transition there right at the halfway point uh, still lots of earth uh, spice now I'm getting a, I'm getting a little sweetness um, really not uh, a definitive transition but there's you know it's it's trying it, you know it's, it's trying to uh, perform with some complexity but it's it's enjoyable uh but not like top five cigars i've smoked this summer um i think with the and, and you know honestly this isn't aged it's just rested you know it's just rested um i buying it through um cigar one uh very trusted source um, I also have a few boxes coming from FOH or Friends of Habanos. The was, Aussie boys. Yeah, the Aussie guys, if you're interested. Uh, they got a channel on YouTube as well. Um, really, really good prices right now. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last. Right, with what's happening uh, in Cuba. You know, they're not too happy with the, the way of life there and... Uh, old Havana better pick yeah. them up while you can and at it's, least. yeah it just seems like now at this point now that the Americans are uh, you know other than the existing Cuban community here um, they're not really making any significant uh, policy decisions to um, expedite any sort of um, relief for them uh, but hopefully uh we'll still be able to enjoy um the fruits of their labor and their and one of their greatest exports um so just as maybe a tip uh, if you are a beginner or intermittent uh cigar uh, 
smoker and you're looking to get a Cuban into Cubans or a box or two of Cubans, this would be a, a good time to do it. Um, Before any more uncertainty yeah. you know, and arises. I, yeah, and I, and I can't stress enough, you could really find great production cigars online and they don't all have to be um, Robusto and above. Um, me and Tyler, you know, uh, we like that super part against the yeah, Corona yeah. size. Oh, I'm definitely a fan of that. I just sure. got a box of, uh, from an internet group I belong to on uh, Facebook. I got a box of five uh, Romeo and Julieta Petit Coronas. They are 18 years old. Um, and for practically nothing, you know, I think they cost me $65. It's... Um, so there's some really great small format cigars that really deliver. They give you 30, 40 minutes to smoke. Uh, me and Tyler are whip, whipping through these. We're at about 50, 50 <laughs> yeah. minutes, right? I don't know. This is probably hour, hour, 20 minutes smoke. We probably got about 10 minutes left. Approaching the band right now. I'm kind of picking up more, more like cedar, more smoky flavors. Uh, the leather kind of came back. Um, kind of slick it's getting kind of oily right now yeah this one's transitioning right now i could, i'm getting some sweetness and again the earth is not as bright as it was still the spice um you know i i, I enjoy these um i enjoy the open juniors those are really nice small format cigars um i had a, a couple boxes of those and when i say boxes i mean like three packs um so, I mean, Monte Cristo is a really great brand. And uh, just, uh, you know, this isn't discouraging me at all. I just... Getting up to the band here. I'm, I was just hoping for a more profound uh, cigar experience. And yeah, the, Do you think it would come back with time? Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's so subjective. Right, right. Right. You, well. you hear some guys say, oh, if the cigar isn't well balanced in the beginning, it's not going to balance out after time. And then uh, others say, you know, smoke one now, let it sit six months, smoke another one, et cetera, et cetera. It may square away. But for those of you that, you know, can't pump out or, uh, uh, you know, smoke a large um, Vitola like this uh, because of the price point uh, you kind of want to <laughs> you know you, you want it to deliver the goods um, this one's just falling a little short but it's like bad pizza right still pizza <laughs> that's right all right we're gonna smoke these to the nub and then we'll come, come back, back with, with our final notes. Fi yeah, final thoughts. Final thoughts. And we are at our final third. I like this this little nub part. Is that heating up? It's not heating up, but it's got a little sweetness now. Um it's making up some ground on the overall um, tasting notes, but you know it's a little late in the game. So you know, if you were gonna, if if I was gonna use a scoring scale, um, eighty nine, you know, like a strong eighty nine. Um, again, probably gotta sit you know i'll wait i got a few more I'll, I'll wait six months and try it again but um definitely uh a great cigar uh what we're at an hour and six minutes <clears throat> the flavors are okay uh right now the, you know a little sweetness came in still a lot of earth it's, i got a long finish right now um got dry you know like a like a dry uh, toast or wine maybe like your you know it's got, it had a, a dryness to it and then it uh, 
again it, it turned in right now it's it's a richness and uh but but not the cocoa or the raisin or a lot of leather like you would get from a aged uh number two but again 89 that's a decent decent score for a for a classic uh a classic cigar i'm picking up uh like toasted coffee beans along with the cedar now the leather mm -hmm. subsided again kind of went to the back end yeah that dryness i could feel it on my tongue and then in the back of my tongue i, I i'm getting that that spice and uh that that pepper uh not not cardamom <laughs> but you know what I like it I hope uh, I hope what we're offering today uh, this evening is helps you make a, a decision um, we did the math too I think this uh, I think this averaged out to like 17 bucks and what did we say that one was like 16.50 the unicorn yes sir so they're out there you know uh these are good cigars and they're quite reasonable um so i mean not everything has to be a a 45 or 75 or even a 105 dollar uh, cigar um I know a lot of people are like special occasions or I'm saving it for this, I'm saving it for that. Well, you know, I think every day is a special occasion, right? Right. I mean, I always, <laughs> I always tell my colleagues, um, what do you want to be the richest guy in the graveyard? Um, same thing applies here, right? And I love my sons, but Hey, they could buy their own cigars. I shouldn't have to pass it down to them. Right? <laughs> so let's smoke them together. <laughs> right. Let's, smoke them while you got yeah, them. Let's smoke them together and enjoy it. And uh, enjoy the uh, intimacy and the fellowship that comes about uh, when you do smoke a cigar. Uh, that's, that's a big part of it. And uh, do your research. Find reliable sources. Get hooked up with a Facebook group. If you want to leave something in the comments, uh, myself or Tyler, we can direct you to some groups where we know they're straight up guys in there and gals where you can get uh, a few more resources where you can score yourself some authentic uh, Cuban cigars. And also remember, get yourself uh, the tools of the trade. Right, right, uh, In right. particular, uh, what is that light? Uh, no, the, yeah, the cutter. Cutter, torch. The torch. We got a tool, new to draw tool. Um, and a UV light. Right. <laughs> right? So you can check Checks the, the labels the on boxes. particular cigars. Monte Cristo's have a security feature. Cohiba's and all the labels, all the tax stamp labels have a security feature that appear under... A UV light. It's yep. a 360 light really gives you the best, but any UV light or black light will uh, will verify or validate uh, the authenticity of the label. Now that being said about the price point, right? How would you compare that to the New World you had the other day? Well, I spent. Uh, I bought an EP Carrillo. Uh, the Pledge prequel, Cigar of the Year, it was $32. It was uh, a Robusto size, Vox Fresh. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. Uh, it was box pressed, uh, probably a good 40. 45 minutes smoke it didn't uh it didn't stop the presses for me man it didn't uh it didn't say hey cigar of the year 
it said, hey, first two thirds, a lot of new world flavors. Stinged on the retro. I mean, stinged. Until the final third, the stinging uh, on the retro uh, subsided. Uh, some of the, uh, I'm sure, signature uh, notes of the cigar came out, and um, it was it was quite good in the in the final third. But obviously, um, it got hot, so I got you know a few good puffs off it. But it, it, I just wish it would have started earlier. If you're looking for a lot of complexity and stuff, you know you gotta you gotta explore your palate, right? You you can't just get Mm. <laughs> one type of cigar right um i know a lot of people are in the videos that tyler and i uh watch on youtube they always talk about you know um a daily cigar a daily cigar well you know why smoke a shitty cigar every day and then wait for the good cigar later explore what's out there right to, uh, don't pigeonhole yourself into certain formats because it's trendy or cool or or hip disregard the label there's 27 different types of cuban cigars that makers and they all have something unique and not all of them are that expensive if you find the right resources and then like i said score yourself some Get a humidor. If you don't have a humidor, get some Bovita and a jar, right? Yes, we went sir. to Hobby Lobby. You can get a good jar with a good seal on it. Throw those bad boys in there. You can get 10 or 15 of them in there and not have to worry about it. You know, it may not be for you. Make a small investment. If you feel that this is something you're going to expand, then invest in a couple hundred bucks in a 50 count humidor and go from there. Hmm. Any final thoughts, Tyler? Yeah, that being said, it doesn't matter if it's a $2 cigar or a $200 cigar. It's all in the company you share it with, you know? <laughs> so, good company? Yes, sir. With a good cigar. I think it improves the cigar, right? I'm sure if I smoked this alone, it would just be, I'd power through it, mm -hmm. right? just to get through it yeah and you know what i tell people when i offer them a cigar they look at me and they and i tell them look when you're not enjoying the cigar that's when you're done with the cigar don't feel guilty about smoking half the cigar when it's not enjoyable anymore stop smoking it you're not obligated to smoke it down so i hope this is uh entertaining for you as it is for us and stay tuned got lots a lot lot more content coming we'll try to put them closer together right <laughs> but thanks for joining us and uh we'll see you next time and and uh enjoy your flow take care